Hey everyone, it's uh, April 1st. Uh, a buddy of mine won a hockey jersey and wants me to build him a display case. And I thought that would be a good excuse for me to try out a box joint, which I've always wanted to do. I've watched a lot of videos on how to do it, how to set it up, and I'm going to go ahead and try it. So we're going to make the, uh, the box that the uh, jersey sits in, we'll make that with the finger joints in the corner. Should look really awesome when we're all said and done with it. And then we'll uh, route out the inside edge for the glass and we'll go down and get the glass put in it. And um, we'll go over a little bit about uh, what kind of pine we're going to use on this. To save on cost, we're going to use pine versus oak. And we'll stain it uh, golden oak. And then uh, we'll put a nice piano hinge on the side. I got a good bit of confidence this is going to turn out really nice and he's going to be really satisfied. So I'm anxious to get this uh, going and get, get started on it. So in saying that, let's get going. I'll uh, show you how it's going to get done by me. Go ahead and get all of our pieces uh, cut to length here. We'll uh, put them in the miter saw station, cut all the sides and tops to length, and then we'll take them over to the table saw. Hey everyone, I kind of wanted to show you the differences between like when you go to Home Depot and you buy the premium grade pine lumber, which uh, I never do because it's always um, way more expensive. I can get a six foot one by six for six dollars or I can buy a uh, their select pine they call it and it's around ten dollars more a board. But the difference is, well, hopefully you can see this. You see how clear that is? There's absolutely no knots, very clear, solid. For the most part, it's a lot straighter. Then you have this board here, which we make a lot of our crafts out of, which is fine for that. We'll sand it down, plane it, whatever we need to do. But you can see it's got a lot more knots in it. It's a, a rough plane, whereas the other one's a nice smooth plane. And uh, that's all there is of that. Here we are at the uh, table saw. We're going to go ahead and uh, get these all ripped down to length. All sides and ends. Hey everyone, I got the uh, table saw sled set up here. I'm not going to get into... Uh, how you make a box joint because there's a lot of videos out there that you can go and watch and I could make a whole video just on that box joint. Plus there is a lot of scrap in my scrap box over there that it took a lot of time to get this set up just right to where all the spaces and uh, stuff worked out equally so that everything will look right. I'm not sure who said it, but um, they said the fear of failing stops most people from doing stuff. And might not have said exactly like, like that, but um, this is one of those cases where I'm glad I don't have that fear of failing and I'm not afraid to learn because this was my first finger slash box joint, whatever you want to call it, and I couldn't be happier. And if you take a look... This is a side and a top. They are about perfect. Couldn't be happier. They're flush on the top. I left about a 30 second on the edge. We'll sand that off nice and flush with some wood glue. Should blend in real nice. And uh, 
like I said, they all fit together like that, so everything's real good. I'm real happy. As you can tell, if you look into my scrap pile, yeah, that's not pretty. But what I was trying for there was uh, I, need, I needed to get about five to six thousandths of an inch uh, difference between the spacing. And if you do any of these, you'll experiment around until you get that five to six thousand. And it's, it's not a tight joint, it's not a loose joint, it's just a nice snug fit. And then when you put the glue to it, it should be an extremely strong joint that'll look really good. It's got a lot of cosmetic value to it. So uh, I hope you could tell from that. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> yeah, that's real nice. I love it. Just wanted to give you a quick view real quick how I clamped it up. I'm not 100% sure it's 100% right, but it's square. I did that on all four corners. We'll see how it turns out. <laughs> tell there we just got done running the router around we would put a rabbit in the back to accept the plywood that will have the felt on it for the back of the display case Fairfield's uh, glass panel kit they call it if you look at here at the picture you can see I'm not sure if you can see the image or not this is the reverse image like on the end this part right here on the bit will uh, cut out where the um, glass will sit this will cut out the form on the outside of the frame where you see it and this will cut out on the end piece there will be a reverse image inside this gap inside the middle of these two bits that way the two pieces of wood will join together made at the ends at a 90 degree angle and this is if you use the uh, rubber sealer but we're not using that we're going to go ahead and seal with sealant and uh we'll go ahead and get started well i'm not sure if you can tell or not but that's my auxiliary fence for the router i incorporated my vacuum system into it i'm setting the uh, router up with the uh, flush trim bearing for the uh, trim kit for the windows get that set up flush with the uh, bearing and then we can uh, get started trimming these inside of the windows and the ends of the uh, window trim boards out so that we can uh, get that door ready to go over to the glass guy. Kind of show you we got the uh, top pieces and the side pieces the they're the same but they're just different lengths the uh, the top pieces have the ends cut out there they have a profile like that and then the uh, air part has that same the glass will sit inside this ledge and then if you look down here you can kind of see that it slides inside of the other profile like that and then we'll glue this edge you get a lot of glue on every mating surface whenever you're doing this it's really important because that's the only thing that holds this joint together is the glue so and you make sure you uh, clamp it in both directions so you should have four clamps on this whenever you get it all together Well, we got the glass back from the uh, the glass guy. We installed a full length four foot piano hinge. We used some contact cement, put that on with the uh, felt on the back. Everything looks like it's uh, about done. Here's the uh, box joint after we got done with the uh, poly. Couldn't be happier, it looks really good. This project uh, turned out really nice and the customer's really happy.